They say two teenagers could face charges in a deadly school shooting tomorrow. Officers arrested Fernando Valdez Alvarez and Alfredo Rosario Solis in Minneapolis last night. The 18 and 19 year old attend South Education Center in Ridgefield. Police say one of them opened fire on the school's sidewalk yesterday, killing 15 year old Jamari Rice. A 17 year old student is also fighting for their life in the hospital. A third student was not seriously hurt. Police say that the group had a previous argument. Classes are canceled until at least Friday. While no school community should ever have to go through what we did yesterday, I can tell you that we have some of the best support systems and mental health professionals and resources available to help us through this tragedy. The FBI and ATF are assisting with the investigation. Investigators say they recovered two guns. Jamari Rice had just transferred to the school this week. He should have had a, a lifetime of joy and happiness and growth ahead of him. My deepest console, condolences go to the family members and all of his friends. WCCO's Reg Chapman spoke with the family Jamari lived with as they grappled with his loss. How could this happen to him while he was at school? A grandfather, aunt, and great-grandmother are left empty after the love of their life is taken from them. When he came into our life, we just, you know, took a handful of them and we just loved on them. Aunt Jasmine Hollins was part of the multi-generational home where Jamari was raised since he was five months old. She says her nephew had a big heart and always tried to help others. His great-grandmother says she knew something was wrong after watching the news and learning of a shooting outside a Richfield school. I just felt it, and I text him. I say, is anything happening at your school? And he never texts back. What upsets this family most is the lack of communication. The school has not reached out to us. Richfield police has not reached out to us. They sent the automated message like five hours later and that's something that they sent to the whole district. That wasn't a personal message. Jamari is Craig Johnson's first grandchild. Both shared a love for sports. He always talked about making it big and he's going to be a professional player and he's going to take care of his grandma. An entire family frozen in disbelief and hoping those responsible answer the number one question, why? I just can't imagine this. Like, it's not really real to me. In Richfield, Rich Chapman, WCCL, 4 News. Rice's family says he cherished his friends and they looked up to him. The classmate who survived the shooting was critically hurt. Today, Minnesota's governor called the pain from the school shooting unbearable. Tim Walls visited the memorial to Jamari Rice outside of the school. He said violence like this cannot stand. During a later forum, the governor and a top Republican leader addressed possible solutions like gun control. I would certainly welcome the conversation and would certainly sign legislation that dealt with things that have been proven to reduce gun violence. Um, but I do want to note that if, if don't believe that's the only solution or the simple solution to fix all of this, it's more complex. I think it's highly unlikely to see any uh, gun control measures uh, move through the Senate this year. The focus uh, should not be on uh, law abiding citizens. The focus should be on non law abiding citizens and uh, holding uh, criminals accountable for their actions. And that's where our focus is going to be uh, this session. Stay with WCCO and CBS News Minnesota for continuing coverage of the latest developments in this story.